Okay. Okay. Um, was Sinji was playing this earlier against Jen a couple matches ago, actually. Um, and Sinji looks like he's got a good understanding of the patience he needs to have. But is Sinji already a very, very patient player? Mine. But oh, yeah, yeah, inherently he's just a very patient player. Ooh, and I, I actually like this song. I like this song. Good choice, guys. Which one is this? I have no. I, I feel like I've never heard this song before. This is really good. This is like a, a World of Light one, and there's like a million of them. They're all World of Light, Light World, uh, Part One, World of Light, Light World, like Awakening, some, Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts Four mu music or something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, yeah, right now I'm um, off to a pretty decent start. He has. I would say he hasn't gotten any of those Galactic combos yet until just now. He got. You know, got. Yep. No small percentages. Yep. That's okay. Sinji, out of any player that I think I've ever seen play in person, is totally willing to be like, I'll take that glancing hit. I'll take this, that. And that's not to say that he doesn't proactively look for more. It's just that if he comes away with any damage and you don't, and you lose a trade, anything like that, he'll take it. He'll take it and he'll run with it. Yeah, it's a slow burn. Like, like the way the way Sinji plays is a very slow burn. Mm -hmm. um, like... He he likes to play at his own pace. He likes to play behind the hydrant. Like he likes to set up his you know his traps and whatnot. Um, so he's gonna he's gonna be really deliberate in the way he goes about things. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And Pac-Man though, Sinji makes it look uh, a lot safer in many scenarios than it is. Uh, doesn't get that stuff off for free. He earns a lot of respect by having these setups that he's very consistent with. There, if you are over aggressive, he will punish you. So he forces these people to play safe. His opponent, you know, if Ray goes in too crazy, like. It's a hydrant, it's a fruit, it's something he's off stage and then he's back to square one. So it's a very slow approach, very slow zoning. It's very slow. Yeah. Um <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's like uh he's being very patient right now because he knows, like I said before, oh yeah, nice up. nice up there catch by um Ray. So he knows that he needs to take it slow because if he tries to push the envelope against Paolo, he's gonna he's gonna get explored. He's gonna explode. Right? Now the thing about that though is that playing at a deficit like this, although Sinji is probably better suited for it than many people, um, very difficult for Pac-Man because he wants to play back. Palatina can also play back fairly well. Auto reticle and explosive flame, decent aerials, decent grounded moves. Ooh, surprised that counter got there. A lot of active frames. Let's see, eating all this extra damage with very little commitment from Palatina. And it only gets more difficult, especially as Sinji tries to look for a way to secure the stock before he has too much percent. Yeah, I mean, because Sinji really has to be the one to commit in this situation. Mm -hmm. Like, Palu, Ray can afford to just run around and throw out those explosive flames. And right now he has the item in his hand. So right now, Sinji doesn't even have an item at his disposal. So, ooh, okay, yeah. Good setup. Gets the sour spot on the meaty, though. Ooh. Oh my god, and that's a, that is that a one. Smash 4 setup. He did, bro, he's been doing that that, that nonsense since like Smash 4. So, it's, so he'll set the, so he'll set the tramp, that tramp down on the platform, mm -hmm. and if you do a standard get up or roll, um, it will um, it'll activate the trampoline, so you're going to bounce up automatically. All right, so the correct call for that is to either jump. wait it out, drop down, jump, all that yeah. stuff. But yeah, then yeah. if you jump and you're not air dodging right away, you'll get caught. In the yeah. So very smart setup. Okay. Sinji's got these things down. Sinji's been doing these setups for a long time, hasn't he? Since yeah. the beginning of Smash 4, I think. Oh, yeah. It? Oh, man. Yeah, this guy's been he's been in the lab since the beginning of Smash 4. Mm -hmm. But, um... Hack relatively unchanged as well. Save a couple buffs here and there, to my understanding. Regrab of the fruit. Grab a little bit better. Usable now. Which is a big deal. Mm. Um... Yeah, and Ray's just, like, you know, he's holding, he's holding stage position really well. Not pushing it at all. Like, he didn't even try to go off an edge guard him or anything. Like, no, none of those side beach shenanigans into ledge no tech situations. Just like, I'm just going to explosive the flame. <laughs> all that sort of deal. And now with the stock up uh, and almost similar percentage as that, it's going to be really difficult again for Sinji to cry close this gap. Um, especially because Pac-Man, although he's good at the setups and he's good at keeping his zone to himself, the zone is not quite as large as Palutena can make hers with Auto Reticle and Explosive Flame. She can stay a little bit farther back, go from a little bit more. Yeah. And, oh, oh, good read on the neutral tech. Yeah, but, yeah caught the tech in place with a forward smash. Now let's see, let's see how Ray, because Ray is pretty much in this control of this set. No, he's not done. No, yeah. I just instinctively clenched. 
Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The first Galactic, yep. first Galactic combo of the game, and he got a clean seventy percent. Yeah. See, this is what I was talking about too. Is that Sinji knows these setups so well that if you get caught in them, you will just be behind out of nowhere. Now it's even. Literally a minute ago, thirty seconds ago, it was heavily outside of Sinji's favor, and that connects. Um. What? That was that was pretty clean. That can, was a pretty clean comeback. Can we, can we run that back? Can we run, <laughs> whatever the hell that bell just did. Yo. What? That. What? Wait, is can it, I run that back? Is again? it is it is it possible that when he when he did that, perhaps he caught right after the recoil animation ended, that Palutena started flying away? I think Cindy's just a cheater. <laughs> If you think, if I'm being completely honest, I think he's a cheater. Yo, well, you know, he uses ghosts for his forward smash. Maybe he just calls those little invisible hands over. He's like, hey, let me get the dead over. I don't, in I don't here. know if that's a Nintendo licensed Pro Controller he has in his hand, but I don't know. <laughs> he's got the turbo buttons on there. He's got the, let me win the set, but in a convincing non-cheater way button. Here we go. Yeah. Um, but man, um, yeah, I mean, we're going into game two, and I was going to say that Ray has, I mean, Cindy has the emotional advantage, but <laughs> the right emotional now, advantage. Yeah, but right now, Ray just doesn't care. I don't know. He was laughing. He was laughing. He thought it was funny. Yeah, I, you know, so, yeah. Something was definitely funny about that. Yeah, uh -huh. absolutely. There's been now. To be fair, Palutena has had quite a bit of that. The last time I was here last week, uh, there was at least two kills where the back air was not touching. Just mm -hmm. dead air. And so that can be the name of the game sometimes. Sometimes your hitboxes are just a little too good, and you got to take yeah, that just catch like, them with a just falling like the nair. Man. Sometimes your hitboxes are way too great. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how many times they touch it, it does not matter. No, no. You thought you were getting out of that attack. Not today. So Pac-Man looking to try to make a comeback here. You know, the 80s treated him well. 90s, not so good. He's back in Smash. Palutena is the new wave. He's got to try to get back into arcades. Yeah, well, Pal no, Palutena is from the 80s also. She is, but, like, her new design is... Or actually, wait, has she had the same design now that I think about it? What? Okay, can we talk... Wait, Yes, quick. the explosive flame into the, um... The auto reticle. Yes. Like, excuse me? Yes. He he goes for that a decent amount when it's at, like, lower percents, but I'm surprised he got that later. He, he, got, he hit him for, like, at least 60% or something. Yes. That burns. Uh, belt pressure? Ooh. Nothing out of it yet. Oh, my God, I like that up air out of shield. He just... He read Cindy trying to go above him, but it didn't happen. Mm hmm and see that setup the whole time, that was the thing, is that Cindy still came away from that positive. Even if the setup of like, oh, I'll get Bell on you and kill you, that's dead. Um, even if I can get Bell on you and kill you, Nair out of shield, that's fine. Your disadvantage again, I'll take the however many percent it was. Yeah. So percent, eight percent, that's fine. And he'll play that War of Attrition even if he's from behind, but this is looking rather difficult right now. Similar space as the last game, but last game ended close. So. Yeah, and right now, um, so think about it. Ray's not going near the ledge when he has the trampoline there. Mm -hmm. Mostly because he knows that he can attack the trampoline. And if he approaches that ledge, he could probably get stuck on the trampoline. Try, pro probably mess up his ledge trapping, edge guard, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and that up smash can't do for him. Yes, that up smash I've seen two frame plenty of time. And then does it have it does have an end to the hitbox at the top, yeah. It doesn't just go straight up to the ceiling. Oh yeah, no. So does I feel like it does. No, no, it has it has it's a pillar of light. It has an ending pillar. Yes. Uh I wonder if he could have gotten a punish on that situation, the air dodge through the explosive flame. But playing the ledge pretty comfortably gets back to center stage and now keeping Ray over on the side gets reversed rather quickly. It's difficult to hold the stage at this sort of percent. Yeah, I mean I 149%. I'm surprised that Explosive Plug didn't hit him. And as I say that, I just <laughs> exploded. Okay, he was here, and now he's gone. Mm -hmm. such, is the, <laughs> such is the fleeting life. Okay. Against Palutena. String, though, 45%. See and what happens when you jump at Palutena? Yes. Low percent, difficult again. A full stock behind, including in percent. Catches yeah. Galaga. This could be difficult. Okay, good answer. Okay, yeah. Doesn't respect it on shield. He knows. Cindy's been using these items for years now. He knows what they do. Yeah, but man, Ray's only a 61%. Cindy on 84% on his last stock. Spacing out. Cindy trying not to play too close. He doesn't want to challenge Palutena directly, which is the right call here, even though it's going to be a very long call before he can get anywhere close to advantage. Extends the hitbox. Air not just do explosive flame. You know, well. That hydrant kind of is like pushing Palutena back a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's nice for not necessarily uh, gaining traction for 
of the stage for yourself, but giving just a little bit of breathing room. Here, let me get my fruit. Here, let me get this, that. Yeah. Uh, trampoline as well. Good for that. That was a nice V reverse on the key. All right. You know, Ray puts in the stage. Let's see what happens. Yep. I mean, I want to say if Sinji could like, take this dock soon, I mean, like he's at 118% right now. Yes. Honestly, he could make it work with the Rage. He's got the setups, but it's really hard to get that space, especially with uh, safe moves like Explosive Flame. Back air almost doing it now. He beats another one again. Yeah. Ooh, down oh, down to the Oh, scary position. He's waiting for it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that back air. Man, man that, was, that was rough. I'll draw for Sinji towards the end of that. See, Sinji had brought that back last time, but that is still a very difficult situation to be in. Behind against a um, a disjointed character mm -hmm. with projectiles, very good projectiles. Yes. Some of which you kill. And or reflect. Yes, and or reflect. Um, with very good and lag on the aerials. There's not a whole lot of punish space that he can do there. And Ray is really nice at, like I said, Playing just enough back where it's like, oh, maybe I'm vulnerable, but I'm not giving you any of my space. Mm -hmm. You're going to stay in your corner there because I know you're at disadvantage. Um, sort of an aggressive uh, auto reticle at the beginning there does test the punishment on the end lag. Yeah, so the thing about the auto reticle is it can kind of, um, it can hit the bonus fruit. Mm -hmm. So um, it probably hit it out of his hand or something along the nature, or even just put a little bit of pressure on Pac Man on the outside of the stage while. Oh, uh, he's trying to charge that, um, excuse me, not charge, put down the fire engine. Mm -hmm. That looked like it shield poked the hydrant there when Explosive Flame had sent it out, so that's a strong option. Catches with a couple up airs, sitting at about even percent. Yeah, going for the down tilt at the ledge, you know, pretty, um, pretty low risk high reward. Mm -hmm. Good bait out of the hydrant there, catching with the back air, but now Ray off stage. Ooh. And he could, you know, I'm very glad he just completely didn't deal with that. Because mm -hmm. I've been seeing too many players just. <laughs> completely just walk into that setup and eat like a whole day's worth of percent. Yeah. Well, both of these players are comfortable disengaging when they feel they need to, which is very important in a war of attrition matchup like this, where if you make a wrong mistake, oh, suddenly I'm down a stock. Where did this 70% come yeah, from? Yeah. Like in the first game. So it's very important to recognize those situations. And sometimes you just can't avoid the setup, but if you can avoid the, 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 the precursors the, okay. to that setup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah, pretty much don't get hit. <laughs> <laughs> don't get hit, don't lose, don't lose the stock, don't get salty, you'll be no, fine. Don't get hit, don't get grabbed, and don't at me. Yep. <laughs> um, okay, Raid's going off stage. Yep, he's threatening the edge guard there, but doesn't throw anything out. Nothing committal, because he can lose the stage to Sinji. Oh. So I feel like there's a reason that Raid's not going off stage with his nair. Um, maybe, maybe that when he does his nair, the side we just kind of goes right through it. Um, so the side B does have the armor on it, though I don't know what frames it has on. Uh, so it might be difficult to challenge. And then the trampoline, because first jump is really quick, you can do it whenever, good punish on the auto reticle. A little aggressive on that, but Cindy's on top of it. All right. Good okay. 35%. He's got the stage control, keeping him out, teleports back. Reset to neutral on stage. No. Wow. Chases a little bit of a hard read there for the okay. forward smash, but you know I, I actually like the Sinji. Like Sinji, Sinji's actually running down Ray right now. Mm -hmm. um, he's playing res less reserved than he was in his boxing a little bit more, yeah. which isn't a bad idea. He has the stock lead. He's got a very strong percent lead. If he gets another key like that, he'll have another stock lead. All right. So see now, he's playing. Oh, it's very good. So he's playing that space very well as well because Ray likes to keep people out of that specific space. That works a lot better when you're in advantage and you know you don't have to approach. Still surviving on that good DI. Mm -hmm. um, so when he's at disadvantage and he essentially needs to be the one to engage, um, now Sinji can take advantage of oh yeah, once I of that um, what do you call it that wavering confidence okay. of oh. Should I go in? This has got to be it. I can't I can't lose this stock now. Two stocks down would be too much. Palatina Nair String to advantage on Street. And an up tilt. Very nice up tilt. That was a smart call, actually. Although, I don't know if that would have beaten Hydrant, because I know sometimes up air can. Okay. Good parry, but doesn't get anything out of it. It's caught on the Hydrant, actually, for a punch. Okay. Where? So, and Palatina is sitting at 160%. 
Honestly, surprised he hasn't gotten clipped by anything yet, but uh, Sinji's sticking back more towards that passive one. Tries to go for the sweep there. That was kind of cheeky. But still playing back. Uh, uh, no. Oh, really? Damn. Tricky spot. Nuda okay. waited out. That was a good call. He's, just, he's doing such a good job. It's keeping Ray at the ledge. Oh, oh. So that I'm pretty sure that that setup does not work with Apple, but um, there's a setup with Lemon, I believe. Um, we have now hit the big two. Melon. Zero zero. Okay. Okay. He's <laughs> he's coming. Yeah. No more. I mean, so still got. I mean, good stock by Sinji. Yes, yeah, so you were talking about the setup with the Apple though, because I'm not familiar with all of Sinji's setup. Oh, so I mean. Okay. I actually forgot to that they just did. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Oh no. Okay, so that's actually a melon setup. Excuse me. It's a melon setup because when you you throw the the green melon upwards, it floats in place. Yes. Um, but he did it with the apple, and the apple doesn't float in place. I'm kind of confused why he did it. <laughs> but um, doesn't matter. But because right now he's in the lead, he has a um, solid 44 percent on Ray. He's still in the second stop. Yep. Although uh, starting to catch couple stray hits here and there, and they are losing him stage control more and more as the percent racks, but he's already got extra credit to work with. Uh, auto reticle interesting call when Ray waited him out there. He just forward smashed his shield and got out of there. All right, playing over to center stage, moving back. Okay, very, he's still very non-committal. Oh, actually catches the teleport, good job. Oh, okay, oh. wow. Okay. Okay, he actually caught his recovery with that. Yep. Got back on stage. Oh. Ooh, no, okay. Still gets a pickup, up. though. Still yeah. gets a pickup, which yeah, is good. Yeah, still some percent. Absolutely. Sinji is all about that percent, no matter how small. If he can get it, he'll take it. Oh, functional grab. Mm -hmm. He waited it out, too. He knew he wasn't going to get that grab, but then Raid wasn't there with the punish. Okay. All right. Go orange. Cantaloupe. Oh. The strawberry. Okay, okay. You're right. Throw the whole fruit salad at him. Get it on discount. Only 150. Okay. Right. Yes, it's, I mean, Ray's just kind of struggling to get in right now. It's kind of like night and day between, like, the first game and the set. Did he get, did he just get caught in the multi-hit and then shot through the trampoline multiple times? Is that what happened? Yep. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering. I saw him send off his face. Like, I don't think Pac-Man's up either was that far. All right. Very difficult spot. 123 to 0 on a fresh stock. Sinji's got all the time in the world. A whole 30 Ooh, okay. seconds left. Ooh. Very difficult to come back here. He really did this. 20 seconds. Palutena does have oh, the don't stage. Get, don't get down there. Don't get down there. Don't get. Just go high. Just go high. Just go high. Yep. Good stuff. Anything would be better? All right. 10 seconds. This is it. Do or die. Ray's got to do something crazy Yo, here. Ray? Yeah. Ray has to do something insane. Oh, yeah. Okay. He'll, <laughs> he'll get you know, stopped. He, yeah, he does. Yeah, I didn't care. Yeah, when you upload, oh, no, oh my god, that's something like 30 hours when it's uploaded. Oh my god, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep on the mic. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the the second, um, at least as far as I've seen, Palutena versus Sinji matchup, and I know all of those games too. Last minute, last 30 seconds, last two minutes.